Hello, this is Talking Really, and welcome. The story today, you may have already seen it, it's been going around so far, it's on social media, uh, but the story is about the VWP cover-up. Uh, basically, reports into uh, relationship between who died and uh, whether their benefits were stopped. There's been reports destroyed. So this is in The Independent and it came out this week. Uh, so the story uh, cover-up. The WP destroy reports into people who killed themselves after benefits were stopped. Up to 50 reviews into deaths following harsh cuts in their money and sanctions have been shredded. Officials admitted around 50 reviews into deaths follow, following the loss of social security payments before 2015 have been shredded, uh, blaming data protection laws. However, the data watchdog has said that there was no requirement to destroy the reports by any particular date and that a public interest exemption could have been used. The sister of Tim Salter accused the DWP of trying to cover up what was happening to vulnerable people. We should be allowed to find out what's happened. Why would they want to destroy them? What are they hiding? Stephen Timms, the chairman of the Commons Works and Pensions Committee, agreed that it was a possible cover-up, saying, I'm very sympathetic with that view. It all underlines a lack of seriousness by the department about putting things right when they go wrong. Mr Timms, who said his committee would demand answers about the shredded reports, pointed out a scathing National Audit Office report had warned the DWP was unable to show it was learning lessons. Having been very secretive, it was now very reluctantly becoming more open, he said. But trying to keep things as hush-hush as possible, and it's not good enough. Well, I just want to know why and how, how he could, they could let it happen, really. We don't know for certain, but it's likely that the peer review that was carried out has now been destroyed and you won't be able to see it. Yeah, well, that was a bit of a shock, but it doesn't surprise me at all because they're just trying to cover up all the other peer reviews as well at the same time. The department says that this is about data protection and they're following the new GDPR law. What do you say to that? What, what happened about freedom of information? You know, we should be allowed to find out what happened and, and why would they want to destroy them? You know, the, what are they hiding? So you think this is a cover-up? I do. I think it is, yes. I think we, we should. And I think, generally, families should be entitled to see these reports. The minister in the Commons on Monday suggested that the families of deceased claimants are able to access information from these reviews via the coroner. But as far as I can tell, that's not happening um, at the moment. It seems to me families should be entitled to receive that information direct. Um, so, yes, it is lo looking like a uh, bit of a cover-up. Uh, and of course it's typical of what the Tories what we would expect of them anyway I'll leave you with that I uh, hope you enjoyed it and don't forget thumbs up like and share bye for now <laughs>